Hiya guys, it's Farmer Dahlia. Uh, we're in a little bit of, we've had a little bit of trouble this morning, a little bit of bad news. Farmer Roger's been up to the roundhouse. And unfortunately, he spotted this little goat just here behind me that's uh, picked up a little bit of an injury. It looks like it's more than likely, in our um, experience, probably broken its back leg. So we've called the vet out and um, vet David is on his way to sort it out. Now, um, it seems to be okay. It's just not bearing any weight on it. It's probably in a little bit of pain, so we're going to get some painkillers as soon as we can. Uh, it's probably just going to be a case of giving it a pot, uh, wrapping it up, making sure it's all clean and tidy and ready to set back in the right position. Um, but, unfortunately, not a good start to the morning today, but we're going to get it sorted as quick as we can. Right, so David's here, he's arrived, and he's just going to have a quick look at the goat's leg. We, we're fairly confident it is broken, just looking at it, flop it. Absolutely, yeah. It wasn't putting any weight on at all. I'm just having a, a little feel down here at the tarsal joint, so just below its hock, the middle of its ankle, and it's definitely um, <coughs> completely, completely fractured there. Poor little thing. So there's no doubt at all that that's a, a fracture there. Um, but because it's you know it's still relatively small, it's not too much weight. I think we have got a, a really good chance of, of getting some good healing if we get a cast on there now. Um, obviously we need some pain relief on board as well, and hopefully the bones will knit together if we can stabilise it. Then um, let the little fellow put some weight through it, and we'll take it from there. So it's a fairly nasty one then, but you think you can. Sort of. Yeah, so that, that is unfortunately really nasty feeling it. I'm not going to keep playing with it, but um, it's definitely really nasty. But I think there's a good there's a good chance, because the goat's not too big, there's a good chance of getting some healing there, and, and hopefully he'll be able to put a lot more weight on it in the future. So what's the prescription, David? What does, um, what does it need? So it needs a cast applying, and what I'm going to do is straighten out and get the bones in the right position. It can stabilise and... Um, Hopefully, it will start forming what we call a callus, which is where the bone starts fusing together and it'll be able to bear weight again in the future. So it's just keeping it nice and straight, really. It doesn't seem to be causing him much pain, David. Do you think no. that's shock, maybe? Yeah, than... I think he must be in shock because, that, you know, there's, there's no doubt, obviously, it's painful. We've given some pain relief, but um, he, he, he's not reacting at all. So, fortunately, I think sometimes they get... Their, their adrenaline up and then um, just hold a little bit higher for me Tom, I'm just going to come up to there, thank you. They get their adrenaline up and um, it sort of masks it with a fight or flight response that these guys have. So even though the brakes at the, the bottom, you do all the like, do you, yeah, just to stop as... sort of stabilising it all basically, um, because if you just do the bottom bit, it, it will suddenly be a little bit of pressure there, you want it all rigid and locked out to hold it in place. And if you just do the bottom as well, the dressing's unlikely to stay on. So, it's got to protect it well. It um, probably, hopefully, charges around with its mates again for the next couple of weeks until we can get the cast off and assess its progress. Hopefully, good. Let's grab my gear and see how it gets on. So, I'm really happy. We've got a cast on and it's a nice, strong cast. We managed to stabilize it. So, it's now time for nature to take over and, and try and heal up that fracture. It's got a fair chance now it's stabilized. So, it's a, a case of waiting. I'll come back in a couple of weeks' time, remove that cast, and have a look at how it's starting to heal. Usually, you end up applying two or three casts. So. Uh, he might be in a cast for four weeks or six weeks, but um, he's got a really good fighting chance now. Right, guys, so there we go. Um, yeah, a, a decent turnout of events there. That could have been a much worse situation, you know. Sometimes with a really, really bad break, um, a vet might not think it's fixable. and It might be a, a case of looking at other options, which we definitely didn't want to do with this little goat. Uh, he seems to be coming around a little bit. He's... Uh, it's definitely a little bit fed up, probably still in a little bit of pain. We have given him some painkillers now, uh, and he should be should be feeling much, much better very, very soon. Um, 
No doubt it's going to be a long road ahead for him. You're looking, as David said, maybe four to six weeks in a cast at, at, at the minimum, really. Um, so David's going to be back, or one of the vets will be back in the next couple of weeks, just to double check and make sure everything's going all right and put a new cast on if that's necessary. So, yeah, there you go. Another day at Cannon Farm. Um, not something we want to have to do, but it's a good result that we've ended up with. Uh, so a lovely little cast, a lovely little blue cast for this little goat. And all being well, um, it's going to come round and be perfect. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye.